This event is a first for Milton. It gives film lovers here the opportunity to get the film festival experience right here in our beautiful new Milton Center for the Arts. No traffic, no lineups, no hassle, no sticky floors, no chattering crowds, just a great selection of local, Canadian, and international films right around the corner. The committee's come up with some, as I say, some provocative and interesting films, uh, beginning with a Spanish film, uh, Blan Kieves, which, uh, for those of you who don't speak Spanish, uh, means Snow White. Set in the 1920s in the world of Spanish matadors, it's mesmerizing and cinematic, a fable, and it's a silent film in the style of the artist. It's inspired by the Grimm's fairy tale, and I think it's uh, uh, unlike anything that uh, you'll see at your Cineplex. Safety Not Guaranteed is a comedy. It's won awards at, at Sundance. I can't resist the plot line. It's uh, three magazine employees who head out uh, on assignment to interview a guy who's looking for a companion uh, to travel through time with him. The next film, I'm... I'm um, particularly interested in seeing and Paul Saltzman. He's uh, a Toronto filmmaker, but more interestingly, he's a former civil rights worker. And 40 years ago, he was in Mississippi as, as part of the civil rights movement and got beaten up by the Ku Klux Klan. Well, now, 40 years later, he's gone back to Mississippi to see what's changed and to interview uh, the guy who beat him up 40 years ago, who's still alive, and I think still is a, a card-carrying member of the Klan. Unbelievable. Uh, fascinating film. Looking forward to it. And with any luck, we'll get Paul uh, to come out and, and, and speak to us. And I think we're particularly fortunate to have The Hunt, the uh, Danish entry into this year's Academy Awards for uh, Best Foreign Film. I think it's a shoe in I think uh, Mads Mikkelsen, who uh, stars in the film, is uh, also a, a likely candidate for a Best Actor Award. He's... he's uh, already won the Best Actor this year at, at the Cannes Film Festival for the film. And the film itself is, is very provocative. Uh, he plays a daycare worker who's falsely accused of, of abusing a child. Francis Ha and, and is an American film. Uh, Greta Gerwig stars as Francis. She's a, a New York woman who is apprenticing for a dance company. Uh, of course, her only problem is she can't dance very well. Nonetheless, she th throws herself headlong into her dreams with unaccountable joy and an unquenchable belief in herself. Kumare is a uh, provocative social experiment turned documentary uh, by a, a filmmaker named uh, Vikram Gandhi. And uh, uh, Vikram also stars in the movie. He transforms himself into a wise but completely fictional guru. And as uh, those of you who have tri tried to transport uh, yourselves into wise but all-knowing gurus, uh, you know how difficult that is. I've certainly tried to do it over the years and have failed miserably, so I can't wait to see the movie. Our Canadian film is, I, I think, a particularly good one. It's, of course, a Quebecois film. I, I think they're making the best and the most interesting films these days. It's from uh, uh, director uh, Xavier Dolan, uh, who is, you know, like 27 years of age and is making a film a year in Quebec. They're all uh, marvelous and quite brilliant, and you just shake your head over the, the, the uh, expertise of this young guy. Then we come to Sunday and our closing film English Vinglish it stars Bollywood superstar uh, Sri Devi she's returning to the screen after a 15 year absence and she plays a, a quiet sweet tempered housewife from India arriving in New York City determined to speak English it's hilarious and I believe a lovely way to end what I hope is going to be a, a fascinating and, and interesting and as, as I said earlier provocative festival so uh, uh, thank you, Jennifer, for uh, all your hard work, and I, I think we're in for a, a, a great two days, so uh, take it away. I'm really excited about this festival. I think it's going to be uh, an amazing turnout, and there's so many great films out there that you're going to be screening, and the shorts program, there's going to be a lot of films from Canadian filmmakers, local filmmakers. I urge you all to, to come. Uh, the film that we're going to be screening, one or two, uh, one would be a documentary, um, which I filmed myself. Uh, which is just me, um, doing basically everything. Uh, the other one is a film we shot uh, last December. 
and it's been screened at the American Indian Motion Picture Awards in San Francisco, which we were nominated for Best Short Film. It's screening at the Aboriginal Film Festival in Winnipeg, along with Alaska uh, in later on in January, and the Milton Film Festival too. So um, I look forward to seeing you all there, and I hope you enjoy it. Check out the, the Milton Film, Film Festival website at miltonfilmfest.com. Don't forget to buy your tickets, and we'll see you at the movies.